Hey so, Steven Su here, you're welcome to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. So um, I have a message here for the collectives, but please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't as so we are on a different path, a different journey, okay? But I'm getting that this message resonates with 7% of you, okay? The number 7 is heavy in this reading, so 7% of you. Um, for those of you on your spiritual path, spiritual awakening, you're trying to awaken to the truth, your soul truth, and you could be in a state where you feel confused, okay? Um, I would love you to get the journal, okay? And the reason why you're getting this journal is because it allows you to express yourself. It allows you to go within yourself to discover the core truths about yourself and your journey, Okay, it's a journal that enables you to write out um, how you feel on the inside. Okay, it's, it's an expressive journal. Okay, so don't just see that as a book. See that as a food for the soul. Okay, that's what I love to call it. So remember that in every purchase, you're getting a 20% discount. Okay, so if you intend to purchase this journal, um, you will receive a 20% discount off each purchase. Okay, by using the code Divine Soul 20 but every of the information that you need regarding this journal, um, I'll put that on the description box below so you can check that out, okay? Um, also, moving on, I want to use this medium to see this clearly. I will never reach out to you first for a personal reading. I will never reach out to you telling you to send money to any platform or to any motherless baby's home, any orphanage home in Nigeria. I will never do that, okay? That is not me. So if you see anybody under the comments with the same message okay or sending you emails telling you i want to pray for you god told me this that is not me okay that is not me once you see this please discard report them that is not me i will never reach out to you first i will never ask you for money never 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 anyways with that being said let's get right to today's message okay i'm speaking to someone that is in divine alignment with who they are I'm speaking to someone that is on the right path. So if you're confused, if you're thinking, am I on the right path? Why am I not seeing results? Why are things not happening my way? Why am I not getting this? Why are my friends doing better and I'm not doing better? Why does it feel like I'm left behind? Why does, it, why does it feel like I'm dealing with stagnation? Why does it feel like nobody's listening to me? Why does it feel like God is far from me? Why does it feel like God is not close to me? Why does it feel like my life is turning upside down? If you are in this stage, if you are in this phase, I need you to trust that you are on the right path. Specifically, if you've come across the number 777, this message is for you, okay? And, and because I said it's for 7%, um, so number 7 is really heavy here. So I'm speaking to a soul that is currently seeking for the core truth in regards to their existence, okay? You are someone that is like you're trying to discover yourself. You're trying to discover your purpose, your mission, your calling here on earth. And you're questioning your identity. You're questioning everything around you. The things that you were told, you are now looking within yourself and you're thinking, am I doing the right thing? Is this thing the truth? And now you're going within yourself to truly see the truth or to awaken to the truth about yourself. Because the thing is, we were programmed. We had, There was this program mindset that we lived off. And right now, this is the season where people are beginning to awaken to who they truly are. And that's the version or that's the phase where you are right now. So if it feels like everything is going AY, if it feels like things are not going your way and you are still, you know, um i'm hearing the word dominant but it's like you are still committed to god it's like you are still committed to the divine and it feels like nothing is happening in your reality i need you to trust that you are on the right path okay um this this feels like i'm speaking to someone that is questioning the truth is questioning the lies the faulty mentality and now it feels like you are you are the crazy one it's like people look at you and be like this person is crazy because you are trying to come out of the box you are trying to come out of this matrix you are trying to come out of this programmed mentality that the world has been fixed in and now people look at you like you're a crazy person how dare you say something like this or how dare you think like this or how dare you talk like this 
why are you acting like this because you are trying so hard to come out of that programmed mindset now they look at you like the crazy one and i'm getting here that all of a sudden people do not feel comfortable around you anymore you're losing people from your life like people just keep leaving your life and you don't even know why like you just see how people just start disconnecting from you and you're wondering why 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 are people leaving me why are people not connecting to me why are they not talking to me this is because they are not in alignment with who you are or who you're becoming they are no more in alignment with this version of you so they are not meant to be where god is taking you to i'm speaking to a soul that has been born again and i'm saying born again not in the religious term but this is like you are awakening to a version of yourself that is dormant you are awakening to the version of yourself that you suppressed for a long time because of the lies that you were being told because of the pro programmed mindset that you had so let me tell you this the number one sign to know that you're on the right path is when you have a deep desire to know the truth about yourself that is the number one sign and it's it's crazy you know in this time and age because um right now many religious people okay quote unquote religious people they they disagree with many things right now okay uh, many religious people disagree with the term awakening and they disagree with the term new age but what they fail to realize is that the term new age it denotes new earth it denotes the new beginning new cycle that's what new age is all about and when you are into this new age thingy right I need you to understand that it is not a cue for you to practice dark spirituality. The new age is not, is not all about dark spirituality. It's a spiritual path. It's a spiritual walk. It's a spiritual awakening journey. So when people hear the word new age, they think you're, de you're a demon, okay? And for someone specific, if that's what you're on, if you've left the church, you've left the mosque, or you've left um, the religion field, and now you're more focused on your spiritual side, and people are not looking at you like, oh, you're practicing evil, or you're doing demonic stuff, um, this, is, this is because they don't understand, or they don't understand what you're on, okay? It's quite unfortunate that religious folks have a way of demonizing the truth just to keep people trapped in fear so if you're trying to seek the truth outside of a concise building i need you to trust that you are on the right path for you to discover the truth about yourself you must first be willing to walk alone whoever i'm speaking to that has made the decision to walk away to find themselves you are not here to follow the crowd you are here to be uniquely different and it's okay if you being different from the rest makes you crazy. That's fine. But I need you to remember that you are the image and likeness of God. God did not say, I would only accept you if you do whatever that person is doing. You, you being here, you are already the image and the likeness of God. Okay? As long as you're seeking the truth about your existence, then you are on the right path because it's quite unfortunate that there are many people that do not want to know the truth about themselves and they prefer to be told the truth they prefer they like it when people tell them the truth about themselves not because they've gone within themselves to discover the truth many people are living here based off on what they were being told not what they experienced by themselves so for you to make that decision to go within yourself to discover the truth about yourself i need you to understand that you are on the right path also, I'm getting here that because you've made the decision to walk alone, to find yourself, to awaken to who you are, you've now become a threat to people. These people that are threatened by you, they are still stuck in old patterns, old way of thinking, old belief system. They are still in that programmed world, the 3D world, the matrix, okay? And right now they are looking at you and these are people that are looking at you with so much pain, so much disdain, so much anger and it's like they're saying these people are saying who do you think you are do you think you're better than us or do you think you know better than us and i don't see you being in that space where you're trying to rub it on their face and tell them that you are better than them it's like you are just in your own space trying to awaken to who you are to what you're here to do and these people are threatened okay they are threatened by you because you do not conform to the rules and the regulations of the world 
and now the divine is saying the path to seeing who you truly are is open the portal of clarity is open okay for someone specific here i'm getting here that you have been on a self-discovery journey for a long period of time you've been trying to know or awaken to who you are i'm hearing the word i'm hearing the name zeus zeus okay that could be significant for somebody here but i'm also getting here that you are about to see who you truly are once you awaken to who you truly are there are people that will hate you for that the fact that you are seeking the truth is already a threat to these people is already attracting evil eyes on you the only thing that you did wrong to these people was that you made a decision to walk away from certain things certain habits certain mindsets certain beliefs you made a decision to disconnect yourself from these people because they were not serving your highest good and now they are mad you have to understand that your power is knowing who you are you become powerful when you know who you are not because you have charms on you not because you have spells on you but because you awaken into who you are is what makes you powerful you are powerful when you know who you are and that's the strongest thing that's the that's the most reliable thing because um when you are powerful when you know who you are that is something that nobody can destroy when you make peace with your demon you become an angel and you have that power to control your demons when you when you make peace with the dark it moves you to the light and let me tell you this it's crazy how when you tell people that oh um i have a demon side and i have an angel side people get mad like ew the devil no this you know and there are so many lies that have been told in this world and for you to come out of that you have to reconstruct your mind okay because there will be no light if there was no dark it's in your bible and god said let there be light which means there was darkness and darkness was not evil it was saying there has to be a balance for light to come dark has to come first so if you're here to see the video on my other channel where i talked about the revelation of the dark and it's important on our journey you should check that video out i'll also put the link on the description box below okay i need you to understand that you are both good and evil and when you realize that you have a dark side you have a light side and you have the ability to control them you have the ability to put that in check okay that's what makes you powerful for you not recognizing that you have a problem that's what makes you powerless there are many people that are here moving living in this world and they know that they have dark sides attached to them but they choose not to accept that part of themselves and these are people that are still stuck in fear but when you are free from fear you have that understanding that you are both light and dark and that does not make you evil that makes you a balanced person you, you become balanced when you know that there is a dark side to you and there's a light side to you it depends on which side you want to use okay also i'm getting here that for someone specific here you had an unhealthy connection in the past you had the wrong set of friends you had like karmic lovers in the past and um it's like you were running away from the truth about yourself and now you are no longer running away from it and it's like you've embraced this newfound version of you even though you don't understand it you were still curious to know to remember who you are also i'm speaking to someone that has been spiritually crowned okay you carry within you the holy spirit your energy is divine so you have people that look at you as crazy they call you crazy because they failed in all of their attempts to trigger you these people they've, they've tried so hard to trigger you but they've tried and every time that they tried they failed these people see you as dark they see you as evil and they've even tried in their own ways to to hunt you to stop you to discredit you but all of their attempts fail because you've gained divine promotion here for someone specific i'm getting here that your wife was a burden to you and is that you detached from her 
and now the path is clear i'm getting like I'm, I'm hearing that the burden has been removed also for someone specific here because you made a decision to to remember who you are to uncover your life mission you unknowingly unlocked the portal of wealth you've tapped into your kingdom wealth here who i'm speaking to you are about to experience financial increase okay i'm speaking to someone that is on the path to moving from rags to riches you've been on this journey for a long time here that's what i'm getting and the irony here is that they call you crazy and that's what it is first they call you crazy and then the next thing they want to be like you you i'm speaking to someone that has now relocated to a new season you've relocated to the season filled with celebration and this is called the divine chapter okay number 14 is significant here um 14 41 is significant as well but i'm getting here that you've moved from from nothing to something you've moved to a new beginning here and another thing here is that i was being told by my guides that the year 2024 which is the eighth year is the year of the forsaken okay those that was put aside those that was you know um forgotten that the world that people you know took for granted this is the this, this season this is the year where god has remembered you so if you were overlooked in the past you are about to be overbooked because the portal of remembrance is open you've been remembered the, the struggles that you went through the pain the trials the tribulations they are now in the past also i heard that you have stepped into a rare season so 2024 is the year of awakening this is the year where people are waking up okay not just people but people that has been doing the work behind the scene people that has been working so hard people that has been you know trusting god believing god and, and it feels like you've been doing too much and you're seeing no results this is the year where god has remembered you god has counted you worthy god has called you has chosen you to be a partaker of these blessings 2024 is your year i don't know who i'm speaking to but 2024 is your year and if you believe it that is what happens to you the only thing that will stop this year from happening for you is if you don't believe it also i need you to understand that the reason why you gained access to this new beginning is because you now remember who you are you needed to know who you are before these material blessings comes in. You needed to know who you are before God moves you to this, to this next season. And now you've awakened to who you are. And now that's why this blessing is about to come to you. Okay? So let me share with you the message from your ancestors here. So I will say it the way I heard it. The golden child has awakened. We had to keep you safe in the cave. Because you are a hunter, you are a huntress. You are here to awaken other souls. You are a royal breed. You are meant to be honored. So the path is cleared for you. We need you to walk boldly as the king and the queen of the jungle. You are here to intercede for souls struggling to discover the truth about themselves. That's what your ancestors want you to know okay now that you've remembered yourself now it is time for you to hunt hunt for souls to also help them discover who they are all right so um i'm getting here that for someone specific people counted you out someone here was sick to the point of death that's what i'm hearing you dealt with gener generational curse limitation stagnation financial lack blockages and now these things are in the past because i heard behold all things are passed away and all things have become new second corinthians 5 verse 14 to 21 so the number 5 is significant 14 is significant 21 is significant if you sum up 777 three times is 21 so these numbers are really really significant here for somebody also another scripture that i heard here is um behold i will do a new thing and it shall presently spring forth isaiah 43 verse 19 okay i'm also getting here that someone wished for death in the past it's like you went through something in the past and you were praying to god to take your life it's like you wanted to kill yourself and the reason why you're still alive till today is because god is not done with you your story 
has not ended. Your chapter has not ended. This is just the beginning for you. When you've lost all your hope in, in God, you've lost everything. This is the time when God has remembered you. So if you're currently dealing with something at the moment, this is for a short period of time. Because I heard, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Whoever this message was made with, if you're dealing with something right now, I need you to hang in there for a little while. Just keep going for a little while. Let your faith be as a mustard seed. Just keep going. Little. You are you are already, you're, you're in your season already. And if you don't see it now, it's because these are times when the temptation will be on the rise. Okay? You are about to gain divine clarity. The dark times are over and I need you to believe it. Okay? It's already done. Your ancestors are proud of you. They are proud of you because you stayed true to the course. You followed the spiritual path. You followed the path to discovering who you are. I'm speaking to a communicator here. You are here to speak to people. You're a public speaker. You're a spiritual guide. You're a shaman. You're a modern day healer. And you've been moving to a new season. And I need you to believe this. Even though you don't see it in the physical realm, I need you to believe this. Believe it, affirm it, own it, because that's your truth. The moment that you've been waiting for is finally here. This is your moment. This is your moment of truth. You are about to see why you went through the dark times. You are about to see why you lost so many people on your journey. You are about to see why you were judged, why you were criticized. You are about to see it now. Somebody needs to get ready here. I don't know who you are, but you need to get ready here. The next three months to the next seven months of your life will radiate speed. If you've come across the number one, two, three, this is a sign. Get ready to move. Some of you are about to relocate to a new home. Some of you are about to um, get a new job, a promotion. Some of you are about to um, move from single to being committed. Get ready. From someone specific here, I'm getting that you were mocked because you waited for God's time. And right now, the only thing that is required from you is to trust that your season is finally here. Trust God. Trust the divine. Trust your creator. Trust the universe. Trust that your season is already here. And I'm hearing, I am, I'm hearing something now. I'm hearing, I will not leave you, neither forsake you. God will never leave you, not forsake you. God will never bring you this far to leave you hanging. The reason why you're still alive, you're breathing, is because God is not done with you. There is a new chapter that has been opened for you. Only if you believe it, believe it, trust it, affirm it. I'm also getting here for someone specific. You're being asked to read the book of Amos 3 verse 3. Amos 3 verse 3. All right? So you could have come across the spirit animal, the bear. The bear talks about um, having the courage to move, Okay? Um, and this is what you did. You, you, you took on that courage. You, you, you had that courage to move. And now you are in a new phase. And the spirit animal that came through also is the peacock. So if you've come across a bear or a peacock, even in your movies or, um, anywhere, this is your sign. I'm getting here that someone here has finally completed the cycle you've completed the cycle okay uh, i'm saying 14 years cycle five years cycle seven years cycle 21 years cycle you've closed out that cycle okay and you've successfully left something behind and now you have people stalking you they can't it's like people can't believe that this is the version of you this, people can't believe that this is the this version of you is real I'm speaking to a generational cause breaker here. You broke the cause of fear in your family, in your bloodline. You broke the cause of doubt, of stagnation, of limitation, of poverty, of your current sickness or disease in your bloodline. You freed your bloodline here. You freed your ancestors here. I'm hearing that you are the real MVP. You are the real MVP. Okay? And... The divine wants you to go forth and shine your light. You are free. You are now a free woman. You are a free man. You are no more bounded by the law. Okay? So um, that's the message that I'm being led to share with the collectives. 
and i hope that this message gives you peace and clarity till next time divine blessings